Hey, it's Dave Reinhardt from School District. I'm with Adam Bell. He's our money guy. And we always talk about taxes and the board and the school district has promised that tax rates won't change. And yet Adam brought in his tax bill the other day and he's paying more taxes this year than last year. So who better to explain it than a, a local taxpayer and our money guy, Adam. And he has his, he has his bill here and I thought you could just explain to us why we said tax rates would stay the same and I can tell you're shelling out more money. Right, well something that you'll notice when it comes to taxes is that your rate is different than the amount of tax you're gonna pay because there's this thing called assessed value. Unfortunately, we have no control over the total assessed value of the home, nor do we have any control on it over the exemption um, which then equals your taxable value. So you can see in the case of this bill, $268,000 is the assessed value of the home. The exemption caps out at 100,000, so the taxable assessed value of 168, that's what the home's gonna be based off of. But last year, um, if you would have seen this bill, you would have seen this number be around 240. That's because the county came in and assessed a, a higher rate. So your your property value, if I'm hearing it right, went from about two four two hundred forty thousand dollars to two hundred and sixty eight thousand five hundred dollars. Correct. Okay. Um, and so last year I paid a property tax of about two thousand dollars. This year I paid a pro property tax of two thousand two hundred seventy four. So just by looking at this, you would say my taxes went up which is a true statement, my taxes did go up. But what you'll notice is there's all these items that uh, contribute to my taxes, um, but only the top two are controlled by the CUNA school district, school number three. Unfortunately, the way Ada County does this, um, and I believe Can Canyon County is different, um, instead of saying supplemental levy, they put down other, and other has both our Court, which helps pay for our liability insurance and also our supplemental levy so that's all wrapped around into there um, I've had some people in the past question the other uh, thinking that it was some sort of weird thing that we did on the back end it really isn't it this is the supplemental levy that uh, was approved two years ago um, and then the other piece is bond now it's probably hard to do in your head right here but if you just if you did a quick look and added these two numbers together it would equal 0 0.05 with a bunch of zeros behind it, which is the rate that we've been um, telling the community. So the rate is the same. It's just the assessed value that's changed. So there's a new levy, there, or there's a levy up for renewal. Right. Is that gonna be an, a third line, like school other, school other, and no. then the bond? So what you'll see is school other, and bond just like this bill. Um, the ratios will be slightly different just because bond payments um, change the amount slightly from year to year, but the two added together will equal 0 .005, just like it's always been. So next year, if there wouldn't be a renewal on the ballot, this first one would disappear? Actually, no, because we still have the tort, and the tort is the automatic thing that, that is applied. Um, it's not a voted upon, and it's not something that we even control. The county just throws it onto your taxes uh, outside of um, our control. So you would still see the other, it would just be a much, much smaller other. Okay. Great, thanks for explaining all that. If you have any questions about what your tax bill looks like or what it looks like with levies, bonds, I know Adam would remain open to talking to you, so, so would I or so would anybody on the staff. Have a great day. Go CUNA.